what do you know? I'm behind another Honda Shelly, except this one's a little bit different. Do I say it? So I'm working on a Bosuzoku <laughs> Honda Shelly. It's not really Bosuzoku. It's a Honda Shelly and it's got a cool exhaust that a lot of guys that have Bosuzoku bikes and Kaido Racer kind of cars, they will have crazy pipes like this. Uh, it's something that we've been wanting to do for a long time and an awesome dude from the lovely Waikato area, uh, Jeffy, he has taken uh, this bike away from Andrew for a while. This is Andrew's bike and uh, returned it like this. So it's awesome. We're going to get it out on the road this weekend, have a cruise with my Charlie and this one, but we need to get some things sorted first. The speedometer, which is here, uh, needs to be mounted. There's a bracket for it here. Here's the speedo cable, pretty basic stuff. Uh, it's recently had this disc brake front end put on it and the disc brake front end is one I've used before on a Honda Charlie. They work really, really well. Um, you can actually buy these, you can buy these exact same ones from Wii Bike in Japan. Uh, rear end on this Honda Shelly. Let's have a chat about this. Hey, how's it going? So you can see this rear end is a bit different. It's 12 inches on the rear. We've got a 110 by 90 by 12 tire. It's a Continental. It's also hardtail at the back here. Now this swing arm originally came from a pit bike that was monoshock. And down in here where I'm pointing my other camera at the moment, you can see where the monoshock assembly used to be. And that up there is the old rear guard mount. But the rear end on this thing is just bought all the way back as you can see and it looks awesome it does the job um it's built on the cheap this bike didn't actually cost a dramatic amount of money to to build but it's been a labor of love this thing has absolutely been destroyed by andrew he's just not been nice to it he's taken this thing on multiple rides all around the show it's got a basic electrical setup there's a mirror here on the wrong side and here's a close-up of the disc brake front end as mentioned before awesome little build we've even got a little bash guard there which helps a lot this thing is super low we just want to get this thing sorted because once it's sorted we can go for a hella cool ride sorry <laughs> all right so all we've got to do now is just attach this speedometer cable Woo! Well, that was probably a good idea I did that. Um, <laughs> both engine mounts are quite loose. The swing arm was loose. Both hardtail mounts, so which are one of the top and bottom shock mounts. It has been ridden a lot, and there was a lot of Loctite thrown onto this thing before it started to get used, and it's just had uh, a lot of use. So, yeah. No, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. I've done as much as I can on this thing. I need to go get a new little battery for it to run its lights. I need to get some engine oil because I've run out of stock here. I've got nothing in the shed. I did check the engine oil, and it was, yeah, really low, but... It's been used a lot and sitting for a while, so who knows. Usually I don't get pen right for my bike. Um, this is nearby and it's his bike, so <laughs> he's just going to have to deal with it. It's not mine. I don't mind. It's only a life and such as life. Now this unplug has a magnetic end and it's not uncommon to find chunks of metal on it and if I get a little bit of a rag here and scrape it off you can see all this liquid molten metal that is uh, basically been collecting around in the engine. It's not uncommon to find a lot of that but if you continuously keep finding large chunks again and again and again every single oil change obviously there's only so much metal that you should be losing inside your engine. Okay. 
Hey, look who I found. It's Andrew on his own bike. Uh, so I finished working on this for Andrew and now we have decided to take him out for a test ride. That pipe's new, as we've discussed. And a couple of cool features about this bike, as I said recently, uh, the disc brake front end, which is a recent addition, uh, the disc brake rear, which is a pit bike setup, and this exhaust. And he's got underglow neons on, which I did not even realize when I was filming it. Didn't even get a good clip of it. So that is what it is. How's it gone? Yeah, good. Sweet.